Howdy, welcome back. Because the last video went so well of putting the rear window in, this video, I'm gonna try and put the front window in. Let's see how we go. First things first is I unpacked the front window rubber. And I thought, let's just fit it on the screen or, you know, around where it's meant to go because, you know, it worked the other way. And do you think I could get this on? Well, I did eventually, but man, did it fight. It fought and fought and fought, but I finally got it on. So now I know that it fits. I can bring the glass from inside. because so I picked that up yesterday, fit the rubber, fit the rope, and get it ready to fit. But before installation, I need to clean the dash. I think this is gonna be a damn sight hard, a lot harder than the front one. Look at how this front window sits here. That's massive to sit over the dash. Now I do remember it being like that, taking it out. So that's gonna be fun getting it in, but trying to install this previously yeah, I could get the bottom in, I could get up the sides, and there's just so much weight in this rubber that as soon as I got one side on, start doing the other, the weight in the top would just pull it all down. So that wasn't helping me. And then I just, uh, today had the idea, I'll just tape it up up here so it holds it. But the issue I was having going around this corner and along the top, and then that far corner there, I just couldn't get the rubber on. It just would not go on the lip. So I had to, re uh, you know, I had to, brute force was the an answer. Just, just whacking it with the palm of my hand to get it up there. So got it on. Probably I'm thinking what the issue was is the uh, roof lining. It's probably, you know, affecting it a bit, but I had that with the rear, but it wasn't as bad as this. That was hard. So now I've got that fit in. I'll let that sit overnight. And tomorrow we'll clean up, bring the glass out, set the rubber up, start installation. Hopefully it don't take too long. And hopefully we don't break the glass. But we'll see how we go. All right, catch you up in the morn. Here it is, the brand new front windshield still wrapped in its plastic. Let's get it unwrapped, get the rubber on, get the rope in, and get it on the car. But before I do that, last video, I got a lot of comments from you all saying, you forgot the sealant, it's gonna leak. Yes, you're right, I did forget the sealant, but I didn't want to put it on beforehand because I'm going to make a mess everywhere. I don't want sealant all over me, nice clean interior, all over the paintwork and all that crap because yes, that was my first time putting glass in and I didn't want to make a mess. So I'm going to do the same with the front window. We'll get it in and then I'll add the sealant afterwards. So by afterwards, I mean, I'll peel back that outer lip of the rubber and then squeeze it in underneath. And then I'm only gonna have outside to clean up, not inside as well. So that is my plan. Don't fret, it will get done. Let's get back to work on this. Okay, that's our first look together at what the glass looks like. If the install goes well, I'll put where I got this glass from. It's not a sponsorship deal or anything. This is just where I bought it from. I paid money for this. So I'll put up where I got it from if the fit goes well, because uh, it does say made in China. So we'll see how that goes. All right, first thing I've noticed is looking at the glass, it's like two pieces of glass with something in the middle. And I thought, oh, what the heck's going on there? 
So I did go outside and have a look at the original glass that was in the car and it's the same. So no issues there. Just looked a little weird. I haven't paid too much attention to front glass before, so it appears to be normal. Let's continue. Well, you're not going to believe this. It's one and a half hours later and I finally got the rubber on the windscreen. That was not fun. It just didn't want to go on. Just as it didn't want to go on the car window lip, it didn't want to go on the glass. That fought me and fought me and fought me. So now I've got to put the rope in and hope that it doesn't come off. Because I would say the rubber is just a smidgen too big. Unlike the rear one, which is pretty, pretty good fit. This one's probably a smidgen too big. And I know it's not the glass because it was also a smidgen too big when I put it on the, around the car as well. So it's not the glass at this stage. It's definitely the rubber is just a little too big. But I've managed to get it on with the help of tape. Because if you got, don't put tape on it, you get one side on, the other side falls off. You get that side back on, you go to the other side and it falls off. And then the bottom will fall off and the whole thing falls off and then you're back to, back to zero. So then you've got to start again. So, oh my goodness, that was hard work. So I'm going to get the rope in and I'm that buggered. I'm going to try and at least get it sitting on the screen of the car. And I reckon that's going to do me for the day because it's cold today. I'm in a t-shirt. I've got sweat pouring off me. I'm cooked. Let's get that rope in. Rope is in. At least that went in without a hassle. Now I've got to somehow pick it up by myself over here and get in the front of the car without any of the rubber falling off. Now the back window wasn't too bad because I got no boot lid on, I could get in the boot and do it. I have an engine in and I don't have room. So this will be fun. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? Now get those suction cups on there so I can maneuver it where I need it to be. And then we'll see how we go. Just sitting inside before I start. Now I started the rope closer to the corner so I can pull it and push it at the same time. Whereas on the rear window, I started in the middle. And if you remember, it didn't do anything until it got to the edge where I was able to put some pressure on it and get it to move. So I'm absolute knackered. I'm going to take a break and I'll get back to it very shortly. Okay, I couldn't help myself. I started it off. I just had to know whether it was going to go or not. I've got that corner in. Pop inside there and up the A pillar. Just need to fix that bit of the trim up under the rubber. Push that under and uh, that's golden. So looks like it's gonna gonna work. I might go across the bottom, get that other corner in. First corner, it turned out to be quite hard, and also the rope got stuck under the speaker grill, so that wasn't good. The front window has a nice radius for the top, so I'm hoping it's not as bad as the rear because you've got right angles on the rear. And that's where I had issues. This one at the front, you've got nice radiuses, so hopefully that the rope will just pull out. So what I'm doing as well, as I'm coming along to the sticky tape, I'm just peeling it off, sliding it up a bit and then pulling it out. And it does look like it wants to come out quite easily, so that's good. Get back to you with some more progress whenever that may be. Oh, it's about 70% in. 
it's getting harder. The top's gonna to be really hard. So what I've got to do now is just get it around both of the top corners, which is that radius I talked about earlier, and then pull it along the top and it should be in. So far going well. Bottom is completely seated, as with the A pillars. It was pretty tough to get around that corner, but not as tough as that last corner on the back window. We just pop inside. You can see going up there, looks all right. Do need to fix the uh, trim once it's fully in. We just fold back the rubber and tuck it under. That's okay. Yeah. So far, going all right. Don't want to jinx myself, but I'm getting there. I've got to go inside and do a few things and I'll come back out and keep cracking on. And just like that, the front glass is installed. It wasn't without its issues, but it's in. All up, probably took as long as what the rear did. Probably quicker to install, but longer to put the rubber onto the glass. That just took forever. It was hard going along the top to try and get that last bit in, but I got it in and it looks rather nice. I've been, you know, just tucking in the trim on the side here and the A pillars on both sides. Can we go up along the top there? And that's about it. The, the rubber sits along nicely along the top of the dash with no issues. So it looks as if this glass is, you know, pretty much the same as what uh, original one is, I guess can't fault it. Um, if you can hear noise in the background, it's the footy. Um, where was I? Because I've been doing rubber gaskets, windows, that kind of stuff, I'll throw in a little bonus and we'll get on the boot rubber. I've had that for a bloody long time, so let's see if that fits. Now it is a touch too long, it's probably what, eight inches too long. So I'm gonna trim it off. And that'll be that. That actually went on very easily. Has got a bit of metal in it for the clip. So, let's trim it here. And there you have it. That's a brand spanking new boot rubber fitted on. Lovely and new. Just a little added bonus to add to all the glass videos, just to break it up just a little bit. So where did I get this glass from? I got it on eBay from a place called Auto Glass Warehouse. Now they're based in Queensland, but they do have locations all out of state. So I just messaged them and asked them, you know, where can I pick it up from in Victoria? And they gave me, uh, I think it was three locations, Dingley, Tullamarine and somewhere else. So I picked it up from the Dingley warehouse. Now I thought going in that this is just gonna be a tiny little place and gonna be dodgy, but I thought for the price, it's worth it. But I was pleasantly surprised when I got there. This place was massive. 
and I've never seen so many windshields in my life. And there were, you know, proper glass, auto glass people there picking up screens. So that pretty much told me straight away that, okay, this place must be got some reputable business if there's quite a few people there. So just, you know, double check the glass when I picked it up, make sure it was the one I wanted. Beautiful. Stuck it in the back of the old family truckster chopped it up and that was a nervous drive home with that in the back of the car because I didn't want to break it and you feel every bump when you've got a windshield in the back of the car I tell you that but as mentioned earlier in the video again I didn't put window sealer in it yet I do have some out here somewhere I went and bought some yesterday I had to take the kiddos to the shop so I got some while I was out so now that the glass is installed, I will do both. I will, you know, seal them up, stop that water getting in. That was hard work by myself. Did it all by myself again. And I'm glad it's done and I'm glad I didn't break it. If I had broken it, <sighs> would have blown my mind. Anyways, we'll be on to the next video soon. What that will be, who knows? I would really like to get the bonnet back on the car so I can start getting some other pieces ready for paint. But we'll see how we go. I think my brother's coming up next weekend to pick up his engine crane, so I'll get him to help me put that on if he comes. And you'll see all of that in an upcoming video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.